I'm joined today by Simon Paul, the Managing Director of Castillo Copper. Simon, thank you so much for joining us today. Rebecca, thank you very much for having me. Could you start by giving us a high level overview of Castillo Copper's strategic intent, including where you're listed? Mm, all right. I'll start with the, the easy question. We're, we're currently listed on the, uh, the ASX and uh, also on the, uh, the LSE. Mercifully enough, we've got the same clicker code, CCZ. Uh, we finished the dual listing in London on, I say the main board, not, not, not AIM, because some people get that wrong, uh, in, Feb uh, in August of last year. So we're almost coming up for the 12 month anniversary. Our, our strategic intent, look, we've always said we wanted to be a, a medium a medium size uh, copper producer. Um, now to do that, my strategy is diversification. We, we just need one of our projects to come off and we're, we're in that zone. Uh, and that's the reason why we've got the properties in Zambia, Queensland, New South Wales, both Broken Hill and at Kangi. So let's focus in on the big one deposit within the Mount Oxide project. Can you tell us um, the campaign findings of the 2020 drillings? Well, we, we finished up drilling just prior to Christmas last year. Uh, it was fairly successful. We we're very happy we came across two spans of mineralisation of over 40 metres each. Um, what we've also done over the rainy season, we've we actually had some ground penetrating surveys done and what we've identified is um, two other anomalies that are actually larger than the ones we identified with the drilling program. So when we get back there drilling, they'll be on the top of the list to get done. So what does this mean in terms of the next phase of the drilling program and when do you expect this to kick off? Mm. Well, I just mentioned before that we, we've done the, the, the IP survey, we've got the results of the initial Holes, holes we put in. What we're doing at the moment is turning the, the model on its head. Um, we think a couple of the holes could move, we think a couple of the holes can go deeper, we think the angle of attack could also change and we might also put in a couple of deeper diamond holes. The, the, the clever people in the dark room are, are working on that right now. Um, in terms of the, the timing, where we should have teams on the ground in the next couple of days with the drills hopefully being there within about a week or so. So um, it's, it's all pretty imminent. So the ARIA project, which Castillo intends to drill post work at the Big One project, holds a bit of mystique. Can you tell us a little bit about the drilling program that's intended there? I'll go back on a little bit of history there. The, the, uh, the ARIA anomaly was first identified by BHP in 1994 uh, from an aerial survey that they did. Uh, it was re-identified by a Queensland government uh, survey, I think it was in March of April of 19, uh, 2019. Right now we understand it to be 1.5 kilometres long, uh, 430 metres wide and 130 metres thick and it sits at about 430 metres. So it's, it's, it's relatively deep but it's not certainly not, not un, 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 unachievable to get to. So um, once we finish up a big one we'll get the drills and the team over to ARIA. Uh, we're going to punch some holes in it, a couple of very deep holes into it and, uh, and see what it's there. Um, we, we're fairly confident that it has copper mineralisation for a number of reasons. M most specifically to me there's copper mineralisation at surface, so there's a very strong probability that we're, we're, we're sitting on a very significant find. And could you give us some insight into the Sansa project, given it's relatively close to the ARIA uh, prospect? Well, is, the stated intent for some time is to get to uh, ARIA as soon as possible, put some holes in it, find out what that anomaly is. Um, during this rainy season in Queensland, we've actually opened up the books again and we've, we've data mined through the historical records and we've found another anomaly. Um, not as large as, as the ARIA one, uh, but we're calling it the sister, sister of ARIA or Santa, uh, and uh, it's really just up and over the ridge. So whilst the drills are there drilling ARIA, we're going to take the opportunity to pop over the ridge and pop some holes into, into Santa as well. Fantastic. Simon, thank you so much for your time today and for joining us on the Market Ball. Thank you, Rebecca.